Greeting fellow pirates and welcome to Zormus' Guide 2.5. This is a few miscellaneous tips and information I wanted to throw out there that didn't quite fit in the theme of other videos. In this video, we will cover the following topics listed. Stocking your ship is a key component in surviving the waters of the Sea of Thieves. In every new game, spend a few minutes stocking your boat. You may also find some cursed cannonballs that will help you turn the tide of battle. Whenever you go to a new island, remember to always fill your pockets at every barrel you pass. Ship battles are often lost because they weren't properly supplied. A nice tip is having crewmates jump off at barrels or fire over to islands you're passing when you're on a long journey. They can fill their empty pockets and take a mermaid back. Rowboats can be found on islands. Rowboats are great for many reasons. They can help you salvage your ship when it sinks, helping you survive and save your precious hard-earned loot. Another benefit of the rowboat is its chest. Taking it to an island or in front of some floating barrels is a great way to stock your boat. Just fill your pockets, empty into the rowboat chest, wash, rinse, and repeat. To use a rowboat, use A to paddle left and D to paddle right. Together to paddle forward. The important thing to note is letting the oars reset. Simply smashing A and D will lead you nowhere. You can also use Q and E to brake. They are also used for sharp brake turns. To brake turn, start by holding down one brake key and turning with the opposite paddle. For instance, if I wanted to turn sharp left, I will hold the right brake key, E, and paddle with the left oar, A. To dock and undock the rowboat, use R when at the back of your ship. Cursed cannonballs are found randomly in barrels or can be stolen from skeleton ship cannons. There are 11 different cursed cannonballs, 6 purple and 5 green, each with their own unique effect. The purple cannonballs affect ships only, and the green ones affect players or skeletons. Learning what these cannonballs do and using them efficiently comes with experience. The Shroud is what is commonly referred to as the Red Sea. It's the mythical fog that surrounds the Sea of Thieves. It will slowly start to destroy your boat when you enter it. You cannot sail from the left side of the map into the right side of the map. The Shroud has only been chipped away once. It was in the Devil's Roar patch, the area on the map in the bottom right hand corner full of dangers such as volcanoes. I will cover the Devil's Roar in future videos. Expect to see more Sea of Thieves content unmasked from the Shroud in the future. You can change the lantern colors on your ship. It serves no purpose other than for decorations. You will however get accommodations and doubloons for the first time you gather these light sources and light beacons around the map. There are six different color lights and the color you get is determined by how you die. When you die, lift your lantern to the Well of Souls. Make sure it's on and gather the light. Once gathered, you can switch out lantern colors all over your ship. Mermaid statues are found all around. They have a unique buzzing noise that will help you locate them underwater. There are three different types of mermaid statues. Blue, which is sapphire. Green, which is emerald. And red, which is ruby. Blue mermaids can easily be killed solo. Green takes two players. And red takes three players. Just keep smacking them with your sword until they die. You can shoot them as well. Green and red can be killed with less players, but it usually takes a number of gunpowder kegs going off at once. The nice thing about these statues is that they drop gems. Blue is worth a thousand, green is worth fifteen hundred, and red is worth two thousand. These gems have the unique option of being sold to any of the three alliances. Whichever alliance you sell them to, you will earn rep. 
I highly recommend to always sell them to the Merchant Alliance as it is one of the reps that takes the longest to level because most people do not like leveling Merchant. Here is some miscellaneous information you might like to know. Puke Bucket When you drink too much grog, you will puke. Puking on players will cover the vision of that player for a short time. But did you know you can actually puke into a bucket and save it later to throw on players? Server Merge When you see this message, it means you just got server merged. At the time of this video, servers house a max of 6 ships, but sometimes you can end up on a server all by yourself. When this happens, you will get migrated to a different server. Server mergers tend to happen when you're the only ship on the server. When you drop your anchor and everyone is on board is usually when you will server merge. Your emote wheel has different emotes, normal responses that you will use. But your emote wheel will also change depending on what you have in your hands. Try them out. It comes in handy to communicate with players who cannot hear your voice. Don't forget you have a watch to keep track of in-game time. Very useful to have when you have deliveries that need to be on time. Outside your crew, chat in Sea of Thieves is proximity chat. So if you want to talk to somebody outside your crew far away, use your speaking trumpet to extend your voice. Your three instruments are not just for fun. They also are used in riddles. If you are drunk, you will play badly, which is kind of a funny touch to add to the game. Barrels are a good way to stock your ship. They usually have tons of supplies. If you don't want to stop, have a crew member jump off, fill their pockets, and mermaid back. You can spot barrels not only in the water, but by the seagulls that fly overhead. A thicker patch of seagulls means there is a sunken ship nearby, so keep an eye out for that. That is extra bonus loot. Island Responds Islands will reset under two circumstances. One is if you sail away and come back. The second is if you and everyone in your crew is dead. This is important to know for a couple of reasons. If you're on an island that has cannons, skeletons will respawn as if you just pulled up to the island and they will fire on your ship if it's in range. It will also respawn animals. You can't find that golden chicken you're looking for? Out of all the other chickens, reset the island and a new batch of chickens will respawn. Finally, it's a way to fix bugs. Sometimes when you're doing an Order of Souls voyage, the skeleton waves may not spawn. Resetting the island will cause them to respawn. Well, that's all for now. I hope you found this video useful. In my next video, I will cover the dangers of the sea and how to deal with them.